Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish a consistent Speak Out Home practice routine. We want you doing your Speak Out exercises every single day. Today, our topic is restaurants. Restaurants, our reading and cognitive exercises will be about speaking out at a restaurant. And I will also provide some tips for you when you're dining out. In addition, after we do the counting, I'm going to tell you about Ellen Livingston from Florida, who put out a press release today. She makes beautiful jewelry and the proceeds are going to Parkinson Voice Project. And that press release uh, went out today and Elizabeth will share that document with you if you would like to um, see it. All right, let's all take a sip of water with intent and then we will get started. The first speak out exercise is we call it the warm up. Let's say each syllable and project our voices forward. We're speaking out. May, me, my, mo, moo. Try to connect as many as you can. Ready? May, me. exercise the speech and swallowing we have to use a lot of intent exaggerate while you're doing these ready may me my mo mo again may me You don't have to do it all on one breath. Just keep the focus on speaking out and you'll take a breath whenever you need it. One more. May, me, my, mo, mo. Very good. Go ahead and take a sip of water. By the way, our new brochure went to the printer yesterday, so we will have those soon. Thank you to all of you who have emailed and have offered to distribute the brochures at your exercise groups, your Parkinson support groups, your neurology offices. If you would like to help us with that, just send an email to intent at parkinsonvoiceproject.org. Give us your address and tell us how many brochures you would like. They just went to the printer yesterday, so I would think that we would be ready to ship those out in a couple weeks. We want everyone with Parkinson's to know about Speak Out. All right, moving on to Speak Out exercise number two, the ahs. Deliberately open your mouth and project that ah forward. Ready? Ah. Good. Try to keep the sound consistent all the way through. Ready? Ah. Uh, let's do it again. Ah. Uh, let's do a shorter one. Ah. Uh, good 
good job. Take a sip of water. If you are in the area and you know Dr. Shilpa Chitness, she is moving from Dallas to Tyler, and we are having a, a come-and-go reception for her today in the clinic between 1130 and 1. You can just show up. Don't worry if you didn't make a reservation, but it's really just a chance for you to come and thank Dr. Chitness for everything she's done for us. I know there's lots of people practicing with us that don't know who she is. You're out of town, but if you are in town, then just stop by the clinic between 1130 and 1. Moving on to the third speak out exercise, the glide. It is really important that you project out a steady ah, okay? Steady ah, and then slowly glide up. Here we go. Ah, and now high. Ah, good, nice and controlled. You are in control over your voice, not Parkinson's. Ready? Ah, ah, again. If you struggle with these, it might help you to use your arm. And what I would suggest is that when you do move your arm, move it up and down like this. Let's all try that. Ready? Uh, uh, it's a little bit hard where my microphone is to do that, but if you do it on your own, you can just move your arm up and down like that. It also looks weird if I <laughs> throw my arm forward to you, but, but at home, easier just up and down. One more with intent. Let's take a sip of water with intent. Are you working hard? I hope so. We're moving on to speak out exercise number four, the counting. This re-coordinates the breathing pattern. Lift every number. So it should not be one, two, okay? And we don't want one, two, three. We don't want that. We want to lift. One, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You notice that I had to take a breath in here before I got to 20. That's fine. Don't even think about the breathing. Just tell yourself, I've got to project forward, and then you will take the breath you need when you need it. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every number with intent. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to hold this closer and let's go down. Ready? 1, 6, 11, 16. 2, 7, 12, 17. 3, 8, 13, 18. 4, 9, 14, 19. 5, 10, 15, 20. We are working hard. We're using a lot of intent. Go ahead and get some water. If you are new to Speak Out, don't worry if this seemed really challenging. This comes in around, I think it's around lesson, I'd, I'd have to look at it, maybe less, lesson 12 or so. There are 25 lessons in the Speak Out program. So hopefully all of you are working with a speech pathologist privately. So um, it builds, it's a hierarchy. Starts out simple and then it gets more complex as you go through the program. I want to share a website with you. This is the website for Turnberry, let me go ahead and, Turnberry Beatery. Turnberry Beatery. And someone that practices with us online, her name is Ellen from Florida. She makes this jewelry. She has Parkinson's, and it's really neat to go on her website and learn about her. And something that is very sweet is that she is donating 100% of the proceeds to Parkinson Voice Project. And she just sent out a press release that went national today. In fact, it showed up on our um, on our PR agency's uh, radar. And by the way, Ellen, they were very impressed. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to the reading. We're talking about restaurants today, and I will give you some tips in just a moment, but let's go ahead and read these sentences with intent. Today, the sentences are not highlighted. There are sentences, there are words that are in red. Every time you see a word that is in red, exaggerate it a little bit more than you do the other ones. So the first sentence would be, there's a parking space. So we're learning how to be very deliberate when we talk. Let's read it together. There's a parking space. Again, there's a parking space. Next, pass the salt. Stretch those out. Pass the salt. Next, table for two, please. Again, table for two, please. Keep in mind that the reading exercises really shouldn't be done like you would talk in conversation. The purpose is to build strength and endurance and to take control of your speech. Let's read the next one. The food smells delicious. Again, the food smells delicious. Next, how long is the wait? Again, how long is the wait? Next, do you have any specials today? Again, do you have any specials today? If you download today's reading material, there's lots of sentences here for you to work on. What you could do is read them the way we just did, where you exaggerate the red words, but now pretend that they're all black, okay? We're going to read them like we would normally speak, all right? So the first one is, there's a parking space. Let's say it together. There's a parking space. Next, pass the salt. Next, table for two, please. Next, 
The food smells delicious. Next. How long is the wait? Next. Do you have any specials today? Let's read that one again. Ready? Do you have any specials today? Read the one above it. How long is the wait? Next. The food smells delicious. Next. Table for two, please. Next. Pass the salt. Next. There's a parking space. So do you see how there's all different ways for you to practice, all right? Download the reading material. Take a sip of water. I'm going to scroll through these other sentences and get to the cognitive. I'm going to show you some pictures. I want you to name the food, and then I want you to name some, some restaurants in your area where you can go get this food. So go ahead, name the food and where would you go get this? Next one, where would you go get this food? If it's hard to tell, it's salmon. Where would you go eat salmon? Name the restaurants. Where would you go get a great cheeseburger or veggie burger? Where would you get some pancakes? Name some places to go get some great pancakes. So I have a few tips for you I'd like to share when you're dining out. One suggestion is to make a reservation ahead of time and ask them for a quiet table. A table, if you're going out with friends, a round table is more conducive to communicating. If you're at a rectangular table, not everybody can see each other, but a round table, it really um, includes everybody in the conversation. A quiet table will make it easier for you. So when you make your reservation, say, we really need a quiet table, not a table near the kitchen or a table near the restrooms. That will really help you. Those of you that have been practicing with me for a long time, you know that I cannot hear in my left ear. I've had nine surgeries on that ear, and I've gotten to where um, it's really difficult to communicate in a noisy restaurant. So I have lately been calling ahead and asking and just actually saying, someone in our party is hard of hearing, and so we really need a quiet table. And you'd be amazed what happens. My husband and I have gotten some great tables that way. The other recommendation is, it is really hard, can be challenging for people with Parkinson's to be manipulating the food, okay, while you're trying to carry on a conversation. So when you go out to dinner, you might want to look at the menu ahead of time and order things that are just easier to eat. For example, Garlic mashed potatoes would be easier than, let's say, a baked potato where you're having to put your butter and your sour cream on it. Ordering fish is easier than ordering a steak, easier to manipulate. Lasagna would be easier than ordering spaghetti and meatballs. So that might be something that you didn't have to do before, but it will really make eating out uh, more pleasurable, and you'll be able to focus more on speaking with intent, having a nice time with your friends if you reduce the stress of the, um, the mechanics of eating. Okay, you know what? We're running out of time. Let's do Dr. Boone's words, and then I encourage you to download today's reading material. For the bonus reading, I just had longer sentences, more challenging to speak out. So download the reading material and work on that. Let's do, we will end with Dr. Boone's words. Ready? Goo la ga ga ga. Goo la ga ga ga. And 
the next one. Ku ka mangu ka. Ku ka mangu ka. Next one. Gangla. Gangla. And the last one. Ku kla. Ku kla. One more thing, I would love to know if the tips that I'm giving are helpful to you. So if you could just make a comment in the chat, and if you'd like to send an email, you can send it to intent at parkinsonvoiceproject.org. And again, if you would be willing to share some brochures and educate your community about Speak Out and Parkinson Voice Project, just send us an email with your address and how many brochures you would like us to send you. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.